In this video I'm showing how to give your Roku's name so that it's easier to tell them apart when you want to cast to them. We have four Roku's in our house, so you can see that whenever I open up the YouTube app on my iPhone and attempt to cast to one of them, they all sort of have similar names so it kind of makes it difficult to tell which one's which. Luckily it's super easy to give them more recognizable names, and I'll show how to do that now. First on the Roku, go to Settings, then go to System, go to About and select that. I blurred it out because it's my personal email, but you'll want to remember whatever account is at the top here. And the other piece of info we need off of the screen is the serial number. The next step is to go to the Roku.com website and then sign in using the same account that the Roku was connected to. After you're signed in, go up to the top right and select My Account. Scroll down and you should see My Link Devices. You should see all of the Rokus here that are connected to your account. This screen also has the serial number for each device, so we can pair that up with the serial number that we gathered off of the Roku earlier, so that we know which one we're renaming. To rename the Roku, just click on the pencil icon next to the name, and just give it whatever name you want here. In my case, I'm going to name this one Front Room, and then click on Update. And when the screen refreshes here, you can see it now has the new name. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through this as I rename all of the other Rokus on my account. And now under My Link Devices, you can see all the Rokus have their new names. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and go back to my iPhone, open up the YouTube app, and now when I hit the cast button, you can see all of the Rokus now have their new names. Alright, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope this was helpful if you also have several Rokus and you were looking for a way to rename them to make them easier to tell apart. Hit like if this video helped you out, and thanks for watching.